I know it's very unfortunate, but it's a huge possibility that the people who, um, because I can't call them friends, who murdered Shaquayla and who conspired to cover it up, they may possibly get away with it. I believe if enough people push Cabo, Mexico to and let them know like we will not come do business with you, we will not vacation there, we will not spend money with you at all until we get justice for Shaquayla, I think there's a high chance that uh, Mexico will come together with the U.S. and make it happen. Um, it's very important that the FBI get involved. If the FBI don't get involved, then pretty much somebody got murdered in Mexico and would get away with it. Um, but I feel like if the more people pressure Cabo to uh, Cabo's officials to make it happen, and I feel like if they will lose and they know they will lose a lot of money with us, the problem is when it comes down to us, we don't know how to stand and see the shit all the way through. Like, a lot of times, if y'all don't see um, things happening immediately, then y'all sit up here and fall back. Y'all have to learn how to stand your ground all the way through. So that means even if you get a no, you still stand your ground to fight no matter what. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and you got to know that. Not enough just for the shade room and celebrities to post it. Y'all have to call Cabo. Y'all have to, like, like for real, pressure them and say, you know what, we're not doing financial business if that's the case. Because if one of our women can come there and not return home, and of course it's not no fault of your own, but it happened on your grounds and you know that it was foul play, you know this was a murder. And if you're not willing to do anything about it, then why we need to do business with you when we are not safe in your country? So I feel like if enough people, if enough celebrities, the way y'all post her, y'all need to be making them calls to Cabo and pushing the freaking issue for them to come here and get with the FBI here and then get them damn people charged and take their ass back, you know, to Mexico and have them uh, uh, penalized for all of these countries and we go in there and we spend so much money with them. And when something happens to us, um, it's always a non-motherfucking factor. We are not priority. We're not um, taken seriously. And it's our fault. Because we continue to support people that does not have our best interests at heart. It is our fault. I'll put the blame on us. And I feel like if y'all not going to go make phone calls to put pressure on Cabo, then we are a part of the problem too. We really are. And we have to take accountability for things like this happening. Because, it's, you know, just like I said, when we keep turning the cheek for somebody else, it's just a matter of time it be at your front door. You know, and that's the problem with us. Y'all look at it as, oh, this is just one woman. It was her friends. No, it's deeper than that at this point. You know, now that Cabo know that this wasn't just alcohol poison. Matter of fact, alcohol was not even a factor after the report came out. So now that you know that her neck was broke and her spine is broke, and I saw the video, and let me explain something to you. Something else happened more because off of what I just seen, your neck is not being broke off of that, that one part of the video. Your spinal cord is not broke off of what we just saw on that video. So I feel like more, if anything, that something else happened, they continue to beat on that girl. Um, and I hope more of that video come you know, come out to, to show what really happened to her. But the main thing is putting pressure on Mexico.